There's a guy sitting right across over here in, in front of Daryl that uh, back in the early 60s, I guess, had one of the biggest hit records in the Ooh, was it history ever? of country music called Talk Back Trembling Lips. Wow. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Buddy Ernie Ashworth. <laughs> Very good to have you here today, man. Good to be with you. And, you know, Bill and I used to do a lot of shows. You know, we did some shows in Canada, and uh, he introduced me. I come out of the curtain. And instead of going on stage, I went down the wrong way and went out there where the audience was at. So, uh, so I had to turn around and go back. And it just so happened a few weeks ago, I was in uh, South Carolina. I was at the curtain, you know, waiting to go on. And it was a split curtain. One side went on the stage, one side went out in the audience. I did the same thing. <laughs> they introduced me. So I took off. At the wrong way, went down, got down to the audience, and uh, I sat there and sang my song, Talk Back to Him and Live. <laughs> and I got a standing ovation, first one I've got in my life. <laughs> so, <laughs> I've heard about a half a dozen people in here ask you why you didn't wear your trembling lip suit today. I started once too, but I don't know, just. Uh, don't know where I can get, get it at anymore. <laughs> I, I, I it's really been try. a trademark for you over the years, hasn't it? Yeah, they have. Yeah. Reckon we could get you to do a little talk back trembling lips? I imagine you could. Come on. Really, man? <laughs> you got a big one there, Daryl. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were going the wrong way again. <laughs> I tell you what Ernie said. Ernie had a record out when he, while he's going over here. I'll just tell you. He had a record out at the time called Pushed in the Corner. That was his current record when that happened up in Canada. And he walked out in the audience and he couldn't find his way back. And the spotlight was following him all through the crowd. And finally Ernie looked up. He said, talk about being pushed in a corner. <laughs> he was pushed in there. Lay a little trembling lips on us, Ernie. Thank you. 
John Loudermilk was offered $100,000 for the writing rights to that song back when it came out, and he turned it down. And he was very wise in doing so. But that was a lot of money back then. Did you write that? Pardon? Did you write that song? No. John D. Loudermilk What a great wrote that. song that is. That sounds like a Bill Anderson song. I remember I well when he wrote that. <laughs> you know, Ernest is still so hot overseas. It is amazing. Ernest, tell him about the, I was just telling him how hot you still are overseas, but where they like the true country music. And the last time I introduced you at the opera, you had just won an award, and I can't think what it was now. I won an award for being the uh, most played country music artist in Europe. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And then I w was inducted into the uh, Country Music Hall of Fame in uh, Montgomery, Alabama. We'll do that August 8th, uh, February 8th. I'll be inducted into the Alabama Country Music Hall of Fame. So things are starting to look up a little bit, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Most played country artists in Europe isn't bad. <laughs> it's great. And then I wrote a song one time called, oh, what was that? I, I did it, Bill, I was on your show. She don't drink, she don't smoke, but she lies. <laughs> 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 I like it. Uh, the thing was a top hit, you know, again in Europe. Yeah. And uh, I sang on the show with Bill, and he was the MC of the show. And uh, when I got through saying it, he said, Ernie Ashworth is the only man I know in the world can write a song about a bad man and a girl get a damn hit. <laughs> Did I say damn? <laughs> yeah. That that match you did. <laughs> my mama washed my mouth out. Yeah. <laughs> well, but I've had a I've had a great career, you know, the good Lord's been good to me and having all these friends is something else too, you know, and really helps me. Well, you've kept the country in country and there's a lot of people that are proud of you for that. Thank a lot you. of them right here in this room. Can I interject one thing? Please. That was so obvious with Ernie. Um, what country music is all about, how deep it goes, you just don't listen to it. It seeps into your soul. Mm -hmm. Now, we were talking while we were having a bite to eat, and uh, he said, well, I don't know if I can sing. I don't sing that much anymore and stuff. And when he just got up there and started singing, Wow, yeah. <laughs> you bring it up from the inside. You love well, it, you. and you know, everyone knows mm -hmm. you love it. I haven't done any performing at all for a year. My wife, I lost her in uh, November, so uh, I stayed at home all, all during the year to stay home with her. She had lung cancer, and so uh, I felt it was my duty to stay with her, and so I did for a whole year. And so this, this is back, actually the first time I performed in, in a year. We're so glad to have yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Um, on New Year's Day, there we had there was a New Year's Day party, and, and uh, Ernie was there, and I was there, and Jet Williams and a bunch of folks, and everybody was singing, and they wanted Ernie to sing "Talk Back Trembling Lips," and he said, "Oh, I haven't sung for a year, and you know all that." And he said, "I I don't think I can," and I said, "Well, I said, would you like for all of us to sing with you?" And he sat there quiet for a little bit, and then he said, no. 